Hi everyone, my name is Cole. I'm here at Kettering University for the Bulldog FRC robot in three days. And in this video, we're going to walk through some of the new electrical components from Rev Robotics. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now is supported by Kettering University. Over one third of Kettering's current students are former robotics team members. Go pro at Kettering University and get a free t-shirt. Students in grades eight through 12 and located in the continental US scan the QR code and complete the form by January 31st, 2022 and receive more information about Kettering. Obviously the main event is Rev's new power distribution hub. This replaces the old power distribution panel and there's a lot of features that I was really excited about when we first unboxed this. Mainly, when we are plugging and adding in our motor controllers and any other connections, especially our battery connections, FRC veterans will know that it's always a little difficult with the old power distribution panel. In some cases, you'd have multiple people working on the same thing with one person holding a screwdriver, bending open a connection, and somebody else trying to shove the wire in there. Couple that with tight space and short turnovers between matches and work on the power distribution panel was always something very dreaded. With the new power distribution hub from Rev, gone are the days of sticking in screwdrivers to bend open connections. Instead, they now use these Wago flip-up connections where you can easily open them up, insert your wire, and then with one finger close them down, and that's a tight clamp that's going to last your whole season. That makes the ability to quickly plug and play motor controllers much easier than on the old power di distribution panel. With this system, as we're testing various prototypes and going through our very much hands-on and very iterative design process here, we're really easily able to plug in different motor controllers, plug in different motors, and not have to deal with a lot of the stress and pain of using the old power distribution hub. Something else we're very excited about is that on the power distribution hub, we can put 40 amps running to any of our channels here. On the old power distribution panel, only the first section could handle 40 amps and the secondary section could do 30 or 20 amp breakers as a maximum, no 40 amps. With the ability of the power distribution hub to have 40 amps in any single one of the slots for motor controllers, we can place motor controllers that require 40 amps right at the edges of our power distribution hub and we can wire directly to the power distribution hub using very little wire. Previously, if we wanted to have this motor controller running 40 amps, we would have to wire him down on the power distribution hub and that's adding a lot of wires, carrying current over your can and just really making a mess of any sort of board you have for all your electrical stuff. So that ability is really nice and makes wire routing a lot easier. Another great feature that is on the new power distribution hub is a built-in battery voltage meter. This is a extra feature that really I, I couldn't have even dreamed of before and I think it's, uh, it's, it's really useful to just have that. You, don't have to unplug your battery and check it with some sort of monitoring device. When it's plugged in, you can just get your voltage readout right there and it's a much easier system and allows you to very quickly go, yep, this battery is good. We can now run whether we need to enable or test something rather than have to unplug, check it. I think it's okay, plug it back in. It allows you to really just have some more plug and play. And I think that's definitely something that's the general theme of this new power distribution hub is very quick to, even the battery connections are very quick to put in and to get out. And it's a lot more user friendly in that regards. Some of the other new components from Rev are dealing with our radio power. New, is, new from this year is the radio power module. This allows you to run and power your radio with a single ethernet using power over ethernet. On the radio power module, you have your ethernet coming from your Robo Rio plugging into one end and power coming from your power distribution hub. They're combined into a single ethernet port that goes to your radio and your radio is now powered via power over ethernet. There were a few systems available before that did this. Most of the time with a special ethernet connection and some special cables that just created a lot more bulk in already cramped wiring systems. So having a nice little module that does this helps us to clean up our wiring a little bit better. The last new system that we have from Rev is the Rev Pneumatic Hub. This replaces the old pneumatic control module. 
and has a lot of the new features that people have come to know from Rev's motor controllers. One very useful feature is a USB-C port. These USB-C ports are on Rev Spark motor controllers and Rev's power distribution hub, and these allow you to plug into an individual component using some of Rev software to check that your CAN connection is fine and that the firmware on the component is, is okay. Additionally, the Rev pneumatic hub has the ability to interface with a Rev analog pneumatic sensor, uh, pressure sensor. Right now, we're using the standard pressure cutoff that's digital, but the ports are there to use the new Rev analog system. The pneumatic hub also makes use of a new connection system here that these are very easy to plug wires in. Although they are marked for a screwdriver, I've had no problem just using my finger to open and close any of these, and that's made the plug and play ability of this component uh, very easy and definitely in line with the whole new system from Rev of very easily being able to plug and play, change your system without having to tear down entire wiring harnesses and create a lot of extra work to do very little. So we're happy with the new Rev system and please stay tuned and watch our live stream on fun and the other videos we have to see how we're able to make use of this new Rev electrical components. Thank you. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Over one third of Kettering's current students are former robotics team members. Go pro at Kettering University and get a free t-shirt. Students in grades eight through 12 and located in the continental US scan the QR code and complete the form by January 31st, 2022 and receive more information about Kettering. Thank you to Annie Mark, Rev Robotics and the Thrifty Bot for being official suppliers of the Bulldogs Robot in three days. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.